Welcome to my channel, Nurse Rachel and Crafts. Today I have a post review for you. So this beautiful painting here is called London View by Diamond Art Club and the artist Lasima. It is 55 by 71 centimeters or 21.7 by 28 inches. It is a square diamond painting. It has 22 colors with two ABs. The first AB is 128 this beautiful soft pink color. That AB was not used a lot. We have one here on the umbrella, four on her jacket, and then there's eight here uh, for the lights, and then two in the back. We have a few sprinkled down here at the bottom, and then we have some in the trees here, just a little bit though, not a lot at all. The second AB is the white color, 141. I love that color. And that one was used a bit more. I don't believe any was used over here in the tree or over here. It was mainly used in the sky, in the clouds. So anywhere that there's big patches of white, it was broken up by patches of the white AB. There are a total of 60,270 drills in this one. So this is the original art piece that Lasima did, and it is absolutely beautiful. This is how Dem Art Club rendered it, and this is how it turned out. And again, I think that Dem Art Club completely knocked it out the park with this one. The rendering is stunning. I cannot find any faults with this one. I think they did an amazing job interpreting Lasima's art. This painting, you guys, is just spectacular. I truly love it so very much. I love Big Ben here. And then I believe this is called the Palace of Westminster, I believe is how it's pronounced. And the rendering is spectacular. This is absolutely amazing. Are these called trolleys? And if they aren't, can you tell me what they are called? I just love it. I started this painting January 1st and finished January 29th. I did it for the event called Ticket to Ride 2022, hosted by Cheryl Katz, Crafting Journey, and That Journey Chick. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. So yes, you guys, I I love this one so, so much. Absolutely beautiful. And this tree, oh my goodness. I love it. I made sure that I saved the tree for last because I did not want to get bored with all the gray. Luckily, that never happened. I never got bored one time with this one. When I first looked at it, I just thought it was only going to be four colors, and pretty much it is that. But on just a quick glance, I thought it would be white, black, red, and gray. I was surprised by the number of different shades of gray that it has and that there's hardly any black that's used in this painting. They mainly use the dark gray, 37.99, as well as this deep dark chocolate brown, 33.71. So I was surprised by that in a good way. I was also surprised by how many pinks are actually in this painting. There's quite a few pinks that were used, but it is just stunning. It is confetti heavy, which is understandable with a landscape, but the confetti is what gives you all the detail and the depth in a painting. So I didn't mind the confetti at all. With this one, I did try as much as I could to use my multi-placer. I am trying to practice that now. And yeah, anywhere that I could, I used a multi-placer. So my drills aren't as lined up as neatly as I would 
like them, but I know in time I'll just get better. Using the multi-placer though, it did help knock off about an hour. Each time I would do a section, I like to do a section about this big, and that would normally take me about four hours with the amount of confetti that's in here. But with the multi-placer, I was able to get it down to about three hours. I'm most comfortable with a four-placer, but there were times when I did try to use a seven-placer. So I did kit this one up inside of an Elizabeth Ward knockoff container. And as you can see, almost all the drills are gone out of here. Now I did run out of quite a few colors and I came very close to running out of others. So the colors that I ran out of, there were three of them. I ran out of 310, the black, 413, which is a bit of a darker gray, and then 415, which is a lighter color gray. The ones that I came very close to running out of is this color gray here, 414, and you guys, there's like four in there. Yeah, I came really close with this one. And let's see, um, $37.99. That was pretty close too. It's a really dark color gray. Yeah, I came close there. My burgundy colors. So this is 814. And there's probably 10 in there. 815. I came close as well. That's probably 10 or 12 in there. And that's it on that. The others, while I was low, I didn't fear that I was going to run out of it. 3371 here. Now, the reason why I ran out is because of the trash. Um, I have quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit of trash here. So I'll show you like a size reference. So this is the large Elizabeth Ward container. This is the next size, which is with all my trash, then that size, and then the small one. So yeah, I was second to largest with trash. So yeah, quite a bit here. And as you can see, the culprits were the black and the gray. So I'm going to pour this out into a green tray here because I believe we've all used a green tray before just so you can kind of have a reference of how much trash it was. Okay, so I'm going to keep it inside of this white tray here because I have a feeling that this trash is going to be too much for this green container here. So let's see. Let's see if I spill any. Yeah, that's quite a bit of trash. This is quite a bit. Like, I can't even get to the bottom. It's so much trash in there. So, yeah, my biggest culprits were the grays. The gray, the 3371, the brown, and the black. Yeah, very, very tabby. All of these had tabs on them. Now, this particular kit here is an older painting. I believe it was made back in 2020. I bought it early last year, and the sticker sheet, it didn't have, like, the pre-cut stickers or anything, so I'm pretty sure this was an older print, and it definitely had Down Art Club's older drills in them. 
as we know, Diamond Art Club is producing their own drills now for this very reason, because of the bad drills that they were getting from the manufacturer. The quality on about half of the diamonds were pretty bad. Now the red drills and the pink, no issue. And surprisingly with the white, no issue. The white and like this beigey gray color, spectacular. Love the quality of those. It was just when I got into the darker grays, the brown and the black. And then one of the lighter shades of gray had quite a bit of tabs in it as well. I'm rating this a 4.75 out of 5. And with my ratings, it's never because of the image. I absolutely love the image of this one here. I love all the images that I get. Every time I buy a painting, it's because it's a 5 out of 5 for me. I do my ratings based on my experience and my enjoyment of it. I knew going into this that the drills were more than likely going to be pretty bad. So when I had the bad drills, it didn't surprise me and therefore it didn't disappoint me. However, because there were so many bad drills and the fact that I did run out of three colors, I do want to be fair and just dock it a little bit of points, even though it didn't bother me. But definitely running out of three colors wasn't good. Now, luckily, I did not have to contact Diamond Art Club for any extra drills. I completed We Are the World last summer. And so I had plenty of gray drills left over. So while I was working on this one, I wasn't worried because I knew that I had leftover drills. Now, if you were to get this painting now, today, your drills are going to be magnificent. Like you won't have those problems at all. So yes, 4.75 out of five, I absolutely loved it. I'm so glad that I started on the right side and saved this big, beautiful tree for last because I always felt like I had something to look forward to. So yes, you guys, I loved it absolutely beautiful no complaints at all other than the running out of some colors and the amount of trash drills that was in it but yeah it's stunning and i love it i absolutely love it so as some of you may know i do like to paint the borders of my paintings the ones that i plan to hang and i do want to hang this one up so I'm wondering, what do you guys think? Should I paint the borders black or red? You guys tell me what you think. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching it. Thank you for all the support you show me. And until next time, bye.